navigating a document with JAWS. Video 3 of 4 in the SVRC JAWS series. Lee Nagel, Statewide Vision Resource Center. Navigating a document. I like to start teaching JAWS by navigating and editing in Microsoft Word. It's a good way to show students how practical JAWS can be. We need to begin with a Word document already open on the computer and about three paragraphs written, each with at least two sentences in them. I have the font size fairly large so that the longer sentences take up more than one line. When you move the cursor, it's very important to know exactly what it will do and what JAWS will say. I'll begin by moving the cursor by letter and I'll show you what I talk to the students about. At the moment we have a document about goal ball and the cursor is right at the beginning. If I use the right and left arrow, I can shift the cursor letter by letter or character by character. I'm going to press the right arrow. O. Again. A. L. B. So it's announcing letter by letter, but there's more detail that you need to discuss with your student. You need to tell them exactly where the cursor is when it announces a letter. I ask the student if they mind if I use their hand as a demonstration and then I'll put their hand on the table with their fingers spread apart and I'll nominate a finger for each of the letters in a word and we might pick the word um, people so I'll just skip across Wait, to people. people. All right. I'll tell them that their thumb is the P, pointer is the E, middle finger is O, ring finger is the P and the smallest finger is the L in the word people and then I'll start um, moving the cursor letter by letter and we'll listen but I'll tell them at the moment the cursor has just said the letter P okay if I press the right arrow once e. it announces E the jaws cursor has moved to the letter E it's at the beginning of the letter E and it has said E with my finger I'm just touching the beginning of the pointer finger I'll press the right arrow again oh O, jaws announced O, the cursor moved and I touch their finger, I show them that the cursor is now touching the beginning of the O by touching their middle, le middle finger and it announced O and so on. E. P, the finger, I'm touching their ring finger now. L. L and I'm touching their small finger. So that's a way of showing a student exactly where the cursor is when when they hear a letter. So for example, if I was to say my finger is, my, um, the jaws cursor is touching the beginning of the letter L, if I press backspace what will happen? Hopefully they'll predict that the cursor will go back and it will take out the letter P which is there. So I'll just press the backspace. P. Okay, it announces P and the P disappears. Okay. And so you, you can use the fingers to explain quite a few of those concepts that we need to know. I'll press Control Z to undo the last thing I did. Undo. Okay, so that's letter by letter or character by character. When the cursor comes to a space, we'll listen to what happens. E. Space. It says space. W. H. All right, now that's a slow way to navigate a document, but it's useful if you're wondering about the spelling of our word. Another way to navigate is to go word by word. If you hold the control button and you use your right arrow, you will hear your document word by word. Currently, our cursor is in the word who. It's touching the H in the word who. But when I hold control and press right arrow, the cursor will move to the next word and we'll see where it ends up. R. It said R. And what it did was the cursor moved to the beginning of the next word and it announced the word. So again, I asked the students if I can take their hand for a demonstration and I allocate each finger a word this time instead of letter. I'll go to the beginning. I'm pressing home and, I, and my cursor will go to the beginning of the line. Home G. Home G, it said. Okay, so I'll say goal ball and I've got my thumb. Is, that's the pointer. A uh, is the middle finger, fun is the ring finger, and way is the small finger. So that's how I've explained it to the students, and we'll find out what happens. Control, right arrow. Is. And the first word I heard was is. 
And that was because my cursor was on the word goal ball, but what George does is it moves to the next word, announces the next word, and then the cursor is touching the beginning of the next word. And I point out that there is a space in between the cursor and the next and the previous word really. So if I'm touching the word is, there's a space just in front of the cursor. All right. And again, right arrow. Oh no, control and right arrow. A. A. So goal ball is A. And control right arrow. Fun. Fun. Goal ball is a uh, fun. And I spend some time working on that concept with the students. Another way to move the cursor is by line, line by line. And a lot of people like to listen to their document in that way. I'll use the down arrow by itself. Line to get fit. It was first played in 1946. It. We heard blind to get fit. It was first played in 1946. It. So that's a way of traveling around your document. Using the up or down arrows, you can hear exactly what's on the whole line. Again, down. Was played by blind soldiers from world. Down again. War two. All right, so we can hear our document line by line. I prefer to move by sentence. I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the document, and to do that, I'll use Control and Home. Top of file. Goal ball is a fun way for people who are. It said top of file. It said goal ball is a fun way for people who are. And they're the words that were on the top line of the document. I'm now going to go alt and down. It was first played in 1946. And we heard a sentence. I'm going to go alt and down again. It was played by blind soldiers from World War II. Again, you need to draw the student's attention to the fact that whatever you've heard, the cursor is touching the beginning. So before we heard letter by letter, it was touching the beginning of the letter. Then we heard word by word, it was touching the beginning of the word. Now we're moving sentence by sentence, the cursor will be touching the beginning of the sentence that we heard. All right, alt and down. Teams first played goal ball at the Paralympics in 1980. Alt and down. All players wear a blindfold. All right, each time, um, <clears throat> I might ask the students at this point, um, what, what word do you think the cursor is touching? And because we can see the screen easily, we know it's touching the word all, um, but it, it helps to spend that time talking to the students about this. Uh, the other thing I might do is um, check their knowledge of what I've talked about by saying to them, what will happen if I press right arrow now? Hopefully the answer is they will, that they'll say, it, you will hear the letter L and the cursor will be touching the beginning of the letter L, knowing that when you hear letter by letter, you don't hear the first letter of a word. L. So I just touched right arrow and I'll press right arrow again. L. And there's the second L in the word all. Another way to move is um, by going control and down arrow. Goal ball is played by two teams of three. Each team protects their own goal. Now we heard two sentences, and that could be mysterious to someone who was first using JAWS, but you would need to explain that what I'm doing by going control down arrow is I'm going paragraph at a time now. And the other thing is I ask them to predict if I go control down arrow, what am I going to hear next? I'm going to hear the next paragraph. So control down. The ball must be rolled along the ground so that the bell can be heard. I'm going to go back to the top of the document now by going control and home. Top of file. Goal ball is a fun way for people who are. Um, at that stage, I'll review with the students.